Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another garden project. So today I am very excited to finally be planting blueberries in my garden, specifically in my cut flower slash fruit and vegetable garden. Um, blueberries are a very uh, acidic loving fruit which means sometimes they do better in containers because they really need their soil modified so that they can grow properly. If you have a more acidic soil and you can grow them directly in the ground, you're good to go. I haven't tested my soil lately. Um, my mom has a giant blueberry bush that's over 10 years old at her house that actually grows beautifully in the ground. So my soil might be fine, but my soil here is very, very, very sandy, um, which typically they don't love. So I'm going to be growing two of mine in my raised beds, right in the center, kind of as a centerpiece, and one right behind y'all in a pot or a large container. Typically you need three blueberries because they do need to uh, cross pollinate. Now some blueberries, some of the newer varieties, one of the ones I got, Sharp Blue, um, is a self-pollinator, which means you don't necessarily mean two or three, but blueberries just do best when they have other bushes to pollinate with. And in that vein, you typically want blueberries that all flower around the same type, same time of the year. They bloom either early, mid, or late season so that of course the blooms can all be pollinated at the same time. These two bushes are the ones I'm most excited about. They are called pink lemonade and they actually have pink berries. Um, they are not a huge crop, so they're probably not going to be your best bushes for if you're trying to make um, large amounts of jams or jellies or anything where you need to harvest a whole bunch of berries at one time. Um, but the bushes can get quite big. I want to say five to six. Yes. Four to five high by four wide. They won't get as big when they are in a container as they can in the ground, but that's okay. Um, I am not growing these for anything other than personal eating or sharing with my friends and family. My sharp blueberry bush um, can get a little bit bigger. I believe he's more of a six by six type bush. But while these are just starting to put out flowers, that one already has flowers and even a few berries. So that one actually is a self-pollinating bush, whereas these two have said that they're self-pollinating, but from my research, I've learned that they do best with other bushes around. So we're gonna go ahead and get them planted. You do want to put in some soil acidifier or berry tone unless you naturally have a very acidic um, ground, <laughs> earth, dirt, soil that you're working with. You also want to keep in mind that if you have really high pH water, you're going to need to acidify your soil more often depending on if you're not watering with a high pH water, you're gonna need to keep lowering that with acidifier. So this one is from Espoma. I just picked it up at my local store. It's what they had. There's also, I believe, a berry tone that works well, but this is what they had. And it says for uh, established plants, use two and a half cups. For new plants, use one and a quarter cups. And you'll want to repeat in 60 day intervals, depending on how your bushes are doing. So we're gonna go ahead and start getting these planted. I could not find my garden measuring cups, so we're just gonna wash my good kitchen one because. I don't want to estimate with something like this. This is the same soil acidifier that my mom uses to keep her hydrangeas uh, blue, blooming those pretty blue blooms. So if you are trying to have blue blooms and blueberries, it's a great uh, acidifier to have on hand. Let's go ahead and get them planted and then we will do our pot and water everything in. If you have any tips on blueberries, Leave them down below because I am still learning.
That's good. So they're pretty small plants still. I'm going to be planting flowers around them probably. Maybe strawberries. Strawberries do well with blueberries. But for now, we just want to get them in the ground and watered in. You might be able to see that I do have these front six boxes plumbed for drip, but uh, I don't have any run to them yet, so I will be hand watering them for now. So here is our last blueberry plant. And as you can see, she already has flowers and blooms and blueberries all over her. They are delicious. So don't remember if I said in the first part of the video, but you want all of your blueberry plants to be planted at least a minimum or maximum, not minimum, of 10 feet apart from each other or the pollinators will not be close enough to actually pollinate from one flower to the next. So I was actually going to put these in a completely different spot back by my Peggy Martin Rose and then put the rest up here in this area. That wouldn't work. They were too far away too sad. That's okay. I'm still working on this area, so we just uh, we just changed some things up.
bought these two varieties off of the advice that it was better to have uh, berries that bloom at different types of the season and not all at the same time of the season. And then came home and did some more research that said, no, they need to bloom at the same time, which makes sense. The flowers have to be open at the same time to be pollinated at the same time. <laughs> so if these do not overlap with the other two quite enough, even though this is a self-pollinating bush and I don't get berries on the other two, then we'll have to add a third or fourth blueberry bush later in the season or even next year. I do know you can usually find blueberry bushes at the end of the season on discount. So we may, uh, we may try that. Ooh. We don't get any blooms at all or any berries on our pink lemonade this year. We'll add some more bushes at the end of the season for next year. The blueberry farmer that I talked to recommended Titan blueberries with the pink lemonade. Said they get gorgeous quarter shaped blueberries. So maybe we'll get one of those because that sounds fabulous. because they've probably never been pruned. But for now, we're gonna just get them planted, especially since this one is currently producing berries. Let me give you a closer look. All right, so we ended up with one, two pink lemonades and our sharp blueberry bush here. You can see they are all very close together. So hopefully they will all pollinate beautifully. This little guy will eventually be part of a trio, but for now, sharp blue blueberry. This fruit needs a pollinator, six by six. And of course, blueberries, like most fruits and vegetables, like full sun. Um, <laughs> From what I have heard from Laura, I watched a lot of her videos on blueberries with Garden Answer. If you plant a high bush variety that gets six by six in a pot, they will probably max out at more like four feet than six feet. But look at these beautiful little blueberries. They taste so good. Even if I do have a sad band-aid finger to eat them with. The pink lemonade is just starting to get what looks like the very tips of flowers and therefore berries on this plant. So right in here you can see swollen little buds that I believe will become 
blueberries. I cannot wait. Planting them at this size, it may take a year or two before we actually get a decent amount of fruit. That's fine. The videos that I watched on the pink lemonade berries say, like I said at the beginning, that they're not a high yielding uh, bush. They're more of a couple handfuls a week snacking kind of bush, which honestly is my favorite way to eat fruit in the garden when I'm out here working. We'll pick a few strawberries. <laughs> and they don't even make it inside. So I would not mind just having these in the garden and then having this guy to bring inside and actually put on salads and eat with my meals and harvest for food. So it's okay. I'm not growing anything in this garden for actual food production, more just for fun. And I try to grow the things I enjoy eating so that I can enjoy bringing it inside and using it. So I hope that you liked this video. If you have any advice for me and my little cute bushes, leave it down below and I will see you in the next video.